Project 8, C-Section Simulation. You will need the following from the Apprentice Doctor Obstetrics Kit. A tiny baby, an 18-inch red balloon, lubricant, a layered simulation abdominal wall, a uterus container, C-section drape, a blister pack, Sharps waist container, a kidney dish, a cord clamp, a welcome baby card, a neonatal ID band, an APGAR scorecard, a neonatal exam checklist, and a baby blanket. Suturing materials you will need include curve artery forceps, green armitage, hemostatic forceps, a scalpel handle, scalpel blades, a needle holder, Adson's forceps, dissecting scissors, straight suture scissors, a doyen retractor, a Langenbeck retractor, absorbable or non-absorbable sutures. Optional items required but not included in the Apprentice Doctor Obstetrics Kit are antiseptic solution, if not available, use a soapy water mixture, other relevant PPE, like a mask, apron and eye protection, a tape measure, a kitchen scale, the Make Do Baby Warmer from Project 5, and a stamp pad. This project requires three participants, an obstetrician, a surgical assistant, and a pediatrician. The surgical assistant will hand the obstetrician the necessary instruments and materials throughout each step of the C-section simulation. They will also hold instruments like the Langenbeck and Doyen retractors in place. To prepare for this project, first place the work surface cover from the blister pack on a flat surface, like a table, and arrange the C-section tools on it. Have the rest of the project requirements within arm's length. Then. Lubricate the tiny baby's body and ask an assistant to hold the mouth of the 18-inch balloon open and place the tiny baby inside. Tie a knot in the balloon neck and reposition the tiny baby so that its head is facing the neck of the balloon. Place the uterus balloon with the tiny baby into the container and pull the neck of the balloon through the hole so that the mouth of the balloon protrudes through the opening. Finally, put the layered simulation abdominal wall over the container and secure it into place. To start the birth simulation, all participants are required to perform hand hygiene and don gloves and other relevant PPE. The obstetrician will aseptically prepare the abdominal wall and drape the surgical area. Make a fan and steel incision with a scalpel, creating a horizontal cut through the dermis just above the pubic hairline. In this initial cut, the scalpel is simply a scalpel. However, for subsequent cuts, it is meant to represent an electrocautery device. Insert the Langenbeck retractor beneath the dermis layer and ask the surgical assistant to hold it in place. The Langenbeck retractor should be repositioned layer after layer. Cut through the subcutaneous fat layer to the same length as the skin incision. Carefully grasp and lift the recta sheath with the adsun forceps, creating a tent-like structure as it lifts away from the underlying rectus abdominis muscles. With the recta sheath lifted, make a small incision in the sheath using a scalpel. Insert the blunt-tipped dissecting scissors into the small initial incision and extend the cut laterally, taking care not to damage the underlying muscles. Insert the tips of the fingers into the small opening created at the midline. Gently separate the muscle fibers along their natural planes, being careful not to cut or tear the muscle tissue. In a clinical setting, the blunt tip of closed dissecting scissors may be used if needed to gently initiate the separation of the muscle fibers. Identify the peritoneum. It is the thin, transparent membrane that lines the inside of the abdominal cavity. Similar to the rectus sheath, lift the peritoneum using Adson's forceps to create a safe distance from underlying tissues. Make a small initial incision using the scalpel. Extend the initial cut laterally using the blunt-tipped dissecting scissors. Insert the doyen retractor and use it to gently pull the bladder and surrounding tissues down and away from the surgical site to expose the uterus. Lift the surface of the uterus using Adson's forceps and make a small initial incision using a scalpel. Use shallow strokes, taking care not to accidentally cut the baby. Extend the incision using the blunt-tipped dissecting scissors until the fetal head can be seen. If simulating the wet C-section, a gush of simulation amniotic fluid will come out of the incision in the uterus. 
Reach into the uterus with the dominant hand and gently flex and lift the baby's head through the incision. Deliver the anterior shoulder first, and then the posterior. Once both shoulders are visible, place fingers under the baby's shoulders and, with a firm but gentle grip, continue to deliver the baby out. Clamp and cut the umbilical cord and hand the baby over to the L&D nurse slash the pediatrician. Passively deliver the placenta and inspect it to confirm that it is complete and there are no fragments left in the uterus. Place the placenta in a kidney dish provided by the surgical assistant. Carefully externalize the uterus to facilitate suturing. Suture the balloon incision using a continuous suture technique. Suture the incision twice, once from left to right and a second time from right to left, or vice versa. Use absorbable sutures for all internal layers. Massage the uterus balloon to stimulate uterine contractions. In a clinical setting, oxytocin can also be administered. Carefully return the uterus to its normal anatomical position within the abdominal cavity. Check for any remaining blood clots or amniotic fluid in the abdominal cavity. Use abdominal swabs to clean it as needed. Keep account of the swabs used to ensure none are left behind. Finally, close the incision layer by layer. For the peritoneum layer, use continuous sutures. If sutures are necessary to close rectus abdominis muscle layer, use interrupted sutures. The rectus sheath layer will be closed using continuous sutures, while the subcutaneous fat layer will be closed with interrupted sutures. Remove the drape before suturing the dermis layer. Then close using either subcuticular continuous sutures or interrupted sutures. Either absorbable and non-absorbable sutures can be used. Clean the abdominal area and place a simulation dressing or strapping tape over the incision. Dispose of the scalpel blade by throwing it carefully into the sharps container.